Oh hey guys, how the frig's it going today? Another exciting fishing video for you. Hopefully you enjoy these, and if you do, you know what to do, give that like button a click. If you're new here, why not subscribe while you're at it? And uh, let's go get some fish. So, I think the lake is finally starting to turn over. What that means is, well, during the summer, the bottom part of the lake is the most oxygenated, apparently, and in the winter, the top is, or something like that. Anyway, the lake literally turns over. Um, I don't, I've read some stuff on it today, thought it was kind of interesting. I'll post a link in the description about it, in case you want to know. But, uh, what we're going to do is, I brought both the bait caster and the spinning setup. We're going to try some bait casting, see if we can drill out the, uh, the crankbait. Got ourselves a Honeywell heater crankbait here. And I got another one that I want to try in my backpack. Plus we got some worms, and we got some other bait. So without further ado, let's get down to the docks and let's send it. Alrighty guys, I think for today's video what we're going to do is no matter what we catch, we're going to keep unless it doesn't fall within regulations. So for instance, if we catch 10 inch pipe pickerel, obviously it's going back. But if we catch a rock bass, eh, as long as the rock bass isn't like a tiny little doink, like bait size. Like if it seems like, you know what, it's got some girth, it's got some meat, we're going to keep it. Same with the perch. And uh, we're going to make ourselves a nice little fish combo platter and then destroy it. Adam, keep forgetting scared. Well, you know what? what? You should buy your own. What? You have two. I have two, but that doesn't mean i got to remember to bring them. Yeah. I'm, I'm fine <laughs> for standing. I don't know what your problem is. Well, I know what your problem is, but we're not going to talk about that on YouTube. That's a whole separate video. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Rain cloud. Oh no, I'm not even talking about that. Oh. I'm just saying, I'm talking about what's wrong with you. Oh well. Yeah, that would be amazing. That's a whole separate video. That almost requires an old priest and a young priest. Anyway guys, uh, let's get set up and we'll uh, probably start with the bait caster because I don't think there's going to be anything out there. So I just want to play with my bait caster. I just want to play with my bite. Do you want to play with bite? <laughs> bite. Bait all day, boys. Alright, guys. Um, I'm just gonna practice with the bait caster here. Currently, it is almost six. Like, I don't know if there's anything over here hanging out, waiting to snap onto this, but you never know. I know there's usually bass alongside the dock here, so you can try this too. Maybe something will snap on. There's also a spot over here with the weeds. I don't know if I can get over there. Oh yeah, okay. You might be able to bang it along here. I just don't want to latch onto a pike because I don't have a leader on. And I'm pretty sure that's what took my, uh, my last bait. Ooh, did he just smash it on the way down? I felt a, a little bit of resistance there. I thought something smashed on the way down. Well, if anything, I'm combing the weeds out. Oh, guys, Sarah caught a caught a pickerel. I'm down there banging this stupid green and blue thing around, and she's up here catching fish. How big is it? But how big is he? Want to see? Right to the tip. That's his body. Come on. He's 16. Oh man. He's a good eater, but mm. all right, guys. Decided to switch things up. When you see one fish get caught, you're like, you know what? You plan. Bait casting's fun and all, but you know what's even more fun? Catching a fish. Bait caster out of the way here. Just threw it down here on the ground. So here, fishy, fishy, fishy. That's how you did it. Oh, you got another one. Yeah, and then, uh... That looks like pretty good. Oh, hello, bass. Oh, no, that's pickerel. I just saw the, uh... I just saw the wall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Uh, he's about 17. Just shy. Come on. Go out and eat like three sunfish, bud, and they bite on again. 
<laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> uh, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> that's gonna be funny. Man, his eyes are really glazed over, eh? He's got cataracts. Or are they supposed to have that? Is that why they're called walleye? Well, guys, they are biting. Just gotta catch one. Jeez, I bet you wish you would have made that bet this time around, eh? I should have amped it up lunch. <laughs> oh. Here's hoping next year they lower that slot size down. It's like a little rock bass out there just messing with me. Pulls on the tail of the worm and then frigs off. Do you see that? What? I cast over there and see the second ripple? Yeah. I've seen a fish's face totally come out of the water there. Like I said, with the lake turning over, things are going to get a lot more active out there. And we got two weeks of fishing left. Well, under now, October 15th. And then we wait till winter. Then we come out here on a sled, sit on buckets, freeze our balls off, and catch perch. Well, I'm going to bring my folding chair. I don't know if that'll set up on the ice. It'll be my first time ice fishing like that. Normally, like back in the day when we used to do it, it was always in an ice shack. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah, when I got here, I saw all the vehicles. I was like, wait a second, how come there's so many vehicles and there's nobody on the dock? And then I realized everybody's out on the boat right now. Probably just killing it. Got him. Come here, you little doink. Oh my god. Smallest little perch you ever did see. Alright guys, we're sending Trevor back. Bye buddy. Yeah, I need him Trevor. If I had a tank at home, I would have kept him. Brought him home, made him a pet. Let him an Oreo play. You know, stuff like that. When you're rigging for sunfish. <laughs> Just feed the worm right out the hook. Oh, this guy's pooper's probably sore right now. That's fine. He's okay. He's living his best life. Shouldn't have let Trader Joe catch you, bud. Trapper Joe. Whatever his name is. Here, perchy, perchy, perchy. That's what's nice about worms is you're not really targeting a species. You're just fishing. Just put a treble hook on. Right, another one of those little doink perches. It's probably Trevor. He went back over now. He's messing with me again because I messed with him. Yeah, he's pulling up my worm. Little jerk. He stole it. I have to fight him. Get in the water and go street fight some... Some rock bass. I wish the perch were like those fatties, that, that nine incher that I caught. That thing was delicious. Perch are officially the pickerel of the panfish world. I bet you don't. the last freaking second, too. Holy shit. He's a freaking Yeah, hey, buddy. I need to get your measure. Oh, no, I kicked over the worm. Sorry, Adam. Oh, man. Oh, let's get deeper. This one's the keeper. Whoop, whoop. Oh, you got to change your setup, Adam. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is, is he a keeper? Yeah. Dude! Well, it is seven. Well, that's all I can keep is one of those. I can't... Well, you get to keep one, I get to keep one. Then we can go do a fish fry. And it's like... Oh, I caught out on bait fish. Yeah, let me just wing that back out there. <laughs> Got Trevor again. Alright guys, changing up the strat. Sending out the buffet. Enough of the doinks. Let's get a bass. Got one. Got one. Got one. Don't know what it is. Probably walleye. Or not. That's a walleye. Uh, it's a perch. Holy crap. That's a chunker. Way bigger than Trevor. We're going to call this guy Terrence. Terrence, <laughs> you're going to go with your walleye, buddy. Because you are the walleye of the panfish. Look, guys. <laughs> Okay, I need to let some line out here. You can just flop around on the ground there. Yeah. Come on, James Fonda. Work it out. 
Come here, super chunk. You need to catch another pickerel and catch you a good bass. And that was freaking fish fine. Uh -huh. Jesus, Murphy. Oh. <laughs> I just threw my worm out that literally hit the water. Okay, what the hell's going on with my line? Oh, it's stuck on his face. Well, guys, we got another piece of dinner here. You lose your buddy. Who's your buddy? Who's your buddy? Hey, buddy. Got a friend for you. Oh, they'll get along. <laughs> well, um, got some fish. <laughs> a couple of perch and a walleye. All right, guys. Nighty night. Oh, when you're all excited for a perch and you end up getting a stupid rock bass. It was a dummy. Gonna name him Jimmy. Oh, are we gonna name him? I was gonna name him Scotty. Scotty, you know what? Yeah, he doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know that you were looking for perch. Scotty, can you do me a favor? When I put you back in the water, can you go down there and tell the perch that I'm looking for them? Also, can you open up your mouth just a little bit more so I can take this hook out? Grr. Okay, well, Scotty, you go back to the ravine and you tell those perch I'm looking for them. Later, bud. Swim on. You gonna swim? Get to figure it out? Get a little bit of a tumble in the back of the uh, the truck. Lost a bit of water. And, well, the fish got out. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I need to cut these guys up. Which means I can't film that process. I'm gonna go in the house let the dog out first. Because it's been a hot minute since he's been outside. And then, uh, yeah, get the filleting. Cleaning some guppies. Well, I can't really show you a close-up of the walleye, but there he is. Um, yeah. YouTube doesn't like blood. And <laughs> These fish in this lake don't die. Okay? They don't die. Guys, I was cleaning the perch. It didn't die. I tried the bleed-out technique. It still didn't die. I cut off the damn thing's head. The damn thing's head ran off the table. We got zombie fish up in this bitch. Okay? I don't get it. The walking dead? No, no, no. The swimming dead. That's what we got. Anyway, I think Wally's finally dead. Because this thing wouldn't die. I bled him out too. By doing the old gill cut. And... He made a mess of my cooler. But he still won't die. Fish are freaking weird. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we got in here four seven to nine inch perch and the walleye. Let's go in the house, weigh it up, see how much meat we got for tomorrow. All right, guys, I just zeroed out the platform. These weigh 35 grams. Disregard the mess of my countertop. It's been one of those weeks. But we have 171 grams worth of fish to destroy tomorrow. Not too bad. Oh, you guys are filthy. That's a little better. But, uh, yes, we got a, yeah, 170 grams worth of fish. For tomorrow, I'm going to put this on some water. going to shit my pants while I'm at it. Add a little bit of sodium to the whole deal so that it gets really nice. If I can find my damn sodium. Little bit of sodium in my guppies. Right on. All right. So we'll let that brine do its thing. We're going to have some fishies tomorrow night for Dan Dan. Freaking love fish. Maybe we'll go pick up a potato and make fish and chips. I find with perch and pickerel, the best way to cook it is on butter. Like, some people like to bread their, their fish. I'm not that heavy of a breaded fish kind of guy. Unless it's going on a sandwich. Just the breaded to eat it breaded, I've never cared for that. Like I used to hate when mom bought, not fish sticks, but like the pre-breaded fish for dinner. Uh, it just wasn't good. It wasn't my, my, my yum. But anyway, I got to go up to the truck. I still got shit in the box of the truck that I got to move into the garage. So I'm going to go do that now. Oh, sorry. I almost dropped you guys. Anyway, people, that's going to be all for today. So that was kind of fun. Looks like the lake is finally in fall mode. Kind of sucks, though, because we only have, what, 
12 days of walleye fishing left before they're no longer on the targetable species list. And then 15 days after that and the lake closes until ice fishing season. So that really sucks. It's not to try and get as much fishing in as possible between now and the 15th. Bass will be available though. We can still target bass till the 31st of October, but then after that it's pretty much leave the lakes alone. So, And then ice fishing season begins, and as you know, we are ready for that. The auger is sharp. The We just need the ice fishing poles, and I don't know what else. I need some warmer gear, that's for sure. Like I need snow pants or skidoo suit or something. Something that I can go out and be out for a prolonged period of time in the middle of the lake with the winds blowing and not freeze my tits off. So that's going to be something that I'm going to have to invest in. But the end result is going to be a bunch of perch that don't want to die uh, for dinner. But what I might try to do in the future, my buddy, uh, he basically cooks perch by descaling the he yeah he descales them. Uh, basically, how you do you do a trout, you know, but a trout you don't have to descale it because they got no scales. But you lop the head off, you go from the butthole up to the gills, you split them open, you take the guts out, you clear the bloodline, drill them in the oven. And he'll bake them like that. And he said when you bake them, the bones just come out of them. And then you just eat them with a fork and they're friggin' fantastic. And I should have kept a couple. Like I had four of them. Four, four perch that I could have used for, for baking. But I decided to fill it them anyway. So whatever. It is what it is. But anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And remember, guys. Live to win and never give in. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.